All right, so what is this? That is the cord coming off the edge there for the camera. Rear view camera on the camper. Uh, right now I have the wire just uh, perched up there. Yeah, I'm parked as close as I can to this tree. I'm at my uh, father-in-law's house for Father's Day and uh, this was the best place we can get pa uh, park and still get access to the front uh, door. We're not gonna put the awning out or anything and it's not here to sleep in. We're just doing some work on it. But uh, you can see that cord coming down there into the tree and kind of looping underneath here. The plan, this was just to uh, get in distance, make sure it'll actually fit. But the plan inside this yucky mess behind this fridge, there's a little bit of a seal here. And if you get right down behind that seal, you can get in. Underneath here is where all the gas lines go up and in. So I'm just gonna follow where the gas lines go in, come up through this seal, or drill a new hole. I haven't decided which I'm gonna do yet. Um, and then obviously I'm gonna re-silicone all this because it gets a mess in here. And then up through the top, you'll see daylight because I already took the top of the vent off. And I'm just gonna follow the wires up. They go all the way up top. So that's the routing I'm gonna take to get uh, the Ford camera system set up on my fifth wheel. So far, don't mind the dirt and mess. But uh, I got everything laid out here, test fit, figuring out where it's going to go. I just need to uh, finish doing it. All right, so we're getting a little bit further with this. We have the wire now coming out in the bay. Ignore how the bay looks. It's literally just trashed in there. Gabe, you don't have to be waving in every picture. And it's, off, it's snaked up through the skin. And coming out over here, I'm going to put one more zip tie, zip tie it around the main control line here. But then I have it zip tied down the other umbilical all the way into the bed of the truck. And right now we don't have the uh, the connector. Get, move your arm, buddy. Okay. We don't have the connectors in the truck, but uh, we at least have it the distance set. So I'm going to finish snaking this through and then get the camera line down. All right, so we zip tied the line up inside, going down, and it goes out into our uh, propane tank housing. I've uh, still has the camera wire just sitting here. It's not nothing done to it, but I have the other one zip tied up, zip tied running along here. Then Gabe, show them where we mounted the tire pressure monitor. There we go. All right. See so, it? Tire pressure monitors. Isn't it great? All right, the camera's mounted. Everything's up there. Got it halfway done up top, and then are gonna work on getting it down underneath the trailer. All right, and those wondering what halfway done means, I've got it started, I got the line tacked down all the way across, including some zip ties, some cable ties. It's gonna swing its way this way, and then it's gonna work its way over there, but we haven't gotten there yet. And then I got some lap sealant to seal everything up. Okay, all the wiring's done, lap sealant's done. Uh, should never have to worry about wind picking it up and moving it. I decided to go around this vent just so we didn't uh, have it tight to the skylight and wonder what that was up in the skylight every once in a while if it like was sitting right on the edge. And everything's back on, sealed back up. Ready to rock and roll. Now downstairs. Or the bottom. All right, got the last bit done. Skipped a step there as we were going down the wall, but uh, the, you got two wires zip tied up in here, and then a coil of uh, wires zip tied up back here. Yeah, you gotta love those factory connections. Um, and then that's where the camera's connected inside that propane area. So uh, it's all on. It's all zip tied up. Ready to go. Next step. Put in the nickels box into the camper. So after you undo the screws to take the factory one off, you'll see a tab and this side with hooks. You have to pull it out from the back first and then slide it out to get it off. Okay, so Nichols gives you a template, but I also opted to just get a uh, gasket. So all I'm gonna do is I put the gasket into the top hole. I'm gonna mark it. So I know what to cut off. 
mark where the new screw holes needs to go. And then that's the only thing that needs to really be cut out. Um, we're probably going to have to duplicate this notch down here for the new screw hole. So, where this guy goes in. So I'll probably just notch that down like so as well. Okay, so we had to, uh, I just wanted to show you what is going to be cut out. It's going to look like that. Again, this square piece is going to be there. We got the little hole marked down here. And uh, next thing is to cut into a brand right. new truck. All I had was, all I grabbed was a pair of tin snips and a drill bit. I have everything drilled out, ready to go. Um, All right, that's what the hole's gonna look like when you're done. I've got everything set up, lined up. I just need to uh, take care of some of these pieces of metal, the cut pieces, um, make sure they're straight flush, as well as uh, put a little coat of paint or primer on them. Okay, the longest part of this whole Nichols install so far has been masking this up to uh, make sure I don't overspray when I spray onto the bed. I do have a painted bed. That's why I went with the gasket from Nichols. Here, here it goes. Okay. Hit the red button. I am. Nice rattle can. Should be all she needs. Hit the top of that screw hole. That's it. All right, everything's hooked up, ready to rock and roll. I'm just gonna clean up my mess, but the first thing we do, let's go inside the truck and test it out. All right, we got everything set up. We're trying it inside to see what happens. It looks like uh, we still have to set up the tire pressure sensor. Let's take a look over here. Oh, we got to throw the truck in reverse. Ox. Oh, look at that. We can see I uh, still have to clean up all the stuff on the back, the caulk and everything. But we can, actually, we can see down the back of the trailer. That's kind of neat. I see the trailer, the window, where it says Elk Ridge across there. But that's pretty cool. What do you think, Gabe? I like it too. 